Hello everyone. Welcome to Controllers Tech. I have already made videos about multiple UARTs using Ring Buffer. I have also covered the basic setup of ESP8266 Wi Fi module. Today, in this tutorial, we are going to create a web server using ESP8266 Wi Fi. I will show you how to use this web server to control the LED on the microcontroller. Let's create our project with Cube IDE first. I am using F446RE. Give some name to this project and click Finish. In the Cube MX, first of all I am selecting the external crystal for the clock. Next, select UART1, which will be connected to the ESP. My ESP8266 is also at 115200 baud rate. Turn on the interrupt. UART2 is connected to the computer. Leave it also at the same board rate and turn on the interrupt. PA5 is connected to the LED. Let's go to the clock setup now. I have 8 MHz crystal. I am running system at 50 MHz. This is just because, many of you asked me, why I always set the maximum clock. This time I am selecting a smaller clock. Click save to generate the project. This is our main.c file. First of all, we need to copy the library files. Copy the header files in the include folder, and C files in the source folder. You can get these files after you download the zip file. Now, include the ESP8266HAL.H in the main file. Let's take a look at it. Here you get these two functions. ESP init, initializes the Wi-Fi. Server start do the rest of the job. Let's just refresh this, so that all the files will be added. UART ring buffer multi.c, I have already told you about this, in my previous videos. Change the UARTs according to your setup here. Also modify the UARTs here. We need to copy this, and put this in the interrupt file. We also need to change the default interrupt handlers for the UART1 and UART2. Let's just build it once to check for any errors. Let's see the ESP8266.c now. Again we need to change the UART handlers, according to our setup. 
My Wi-Fi is connected to UART 1, and computer to UART 2. This is the HTML code for the web page. It contains four sections, initial part, LED on, LED off, and the ending part. You can change this according to your convenience. Let's see the initialization function. First, reset the ESP, and wait for 5 seconds for it to settle. Next, we will send AT, and wait for OK response. Next command is CW mode equals to 1, this will set the module in the station mode. Next command is to join the access point, provided in the parameter of this function. CIFSR command, is to query for the IP address. And finally, we will start the server at port 80. Server send will send the string to the device, which is trying to connect to this IP address. Server handle is to handle the requests for different pages. Like what to do, if the LED on request is received, or LED off request is received. Basically, we will send the initial part, then LED on, and then the ending part to the server. Server start will read the incoming request, and then proceeds accordingly. Let's write the main functions now. First of all, we need to initialize the ESP. I have created a hotspot on my phone, and these are the credentials for it. Now, put server start in the while loop, and that's it. Let's debug it now. Click OK. Let's run it now. You can see the output on the console here. AT is OK, and now it is connecting to the access point. It have returned a IP address. My another phone is also connected to the same access point. We will go to the IP address, and here we got our web page. Notice the LED on board. So, everything is working alright. Nothing happens, when we refresh the page. You can download the code from the link in the description. I will keep updating this code in future, and all the new details will be published on the website itself. I will try making a data logger using Wi-Fi. This is it guys. I hope you will make some good use of it. Have a nice day.